I'm in the woods I've spent a lot of time in lately. Never done a, an overnighter. So I plan on doing one tonight. So I plan on spending the rest of the day just exploring and filming. See what I can see. Got a bit of a heavy pack on today. I've got a plan for that. What I plan to do is, instead of taking the bag around with me, snug pack rocket pack comes with a, a yoke. You can detach the pockets and carry those two around with you. So I'm going to take all my valuables out, all the important stuff, things I need, and leave the rest for tonight. Yeah, the idea is you detach the pockets, attach the yoke, and turn into a mini backpack. I think that's pretty well hidden. The two, two worries are someone might find it, and the second one being I might not find it myself. So, <laughs> but I know the area pretty well, so I'll leave a few signs. So hopefully later I'll find it. Animals are all, they're all lighting up. Seen signs of deer, but apart from that one in the field, I haven't seen, seen any more. It's a, yeah, it's a gorgeous afternoon. It's a nice part of the wood. This is a lot of poplar, and the poplar are turning, just starting to. Just seen a buzzard fly, <laughs> just seen a buzzard flying off, so just got sidetracked. Yeah, the poplar are starting to come out into leaf. And certain poplar have a real sweet, like a, almost like a soapy smell. Yes, yeah, so the woods are full of, full of a nice aroma. Yeah, there's signs of deer everywhere. Obviously this one's been digging up the grass. Yeah, there's some big poplar in this woods. Once well, it's all being planted. It's a working forest, but it's uh, yeah, it smells nice in the spring. I keep stumbling across this patch. Found it a few times. It's a beautiful little uh, little glade. One video I've had a, I've had something to eat underneath that underneath that tree. It's nice to sit here and relax. Just look at the small things. And there's so much other things going off around you. There's so many different flowers in this wood. Different insects. And all the watercourses have all got different different insects, animals on them. Fish, newts, maybe snakes, grass snakes, frogs, toads. Yeah, it's just nice to sit sit back and see what there is, see what there is about.
was easy enough to find. Left myself some, some tracks and it led straight to the bag, so yeah, I think it works out quite well that. And I've had it two, three years. It's the first time I've used it. I mean, it's a bit of a risk leaving your bag. It definitely, I mean, it saves having to carry it all around with you. Forgot how heavy this bag is. That's my plan now is to uh, just find somewhere nice clearing to set up camp, have something to eat. This looks a nicer place than any. It's not far from the badgers. I find a nice clearing over, over the other side. I just, as soon as I went to the mosquitoes everywhere. There's a lot of streams around here, but this area should be fine. Change of plan. Mosquitoes have found me straight away. So what I'll do is go a bit further away, perhaps light a little fire, try and get rid of the uh, mosquitoes. This part of the wood seems better. It's a bit drier. That's the thing with, uh, with wet woods like this, you, you get a lot of mosquitoes. They found me, but I can light a fire here because I didn't want to light a fire in the other place too close to the badgers. So I'll get a fire going, hopefully, ward them off. I mean, there's a nice strong breeze, so that should take care of some of them. Well, psychologically, I feel better. I think the smoke does get, get rid of a lot of them. There's still some about. So the fire's out, I've had a rest, good rest. It's about three hours left till, till dark. Funny, as soon as, the, as soon as the fire was out, the flies have come back, the mosquitoes are back. So I'm just going to walk about, see what else I can see. To reduce weight, just took a DD super light hammer at this trip. I mean, it saves weight and it saves, saves uh, space. I managed to get flatter and a better night's sleep. I usually do in the, in the Hennessy hammock. In a few hours at the badger set last night, didn't see anything. Hopefully, the camera trap will have something on. Got back here, set up camp just on the side of the field, not far from the badger set. But again, this morning I woke up early, got out and nothing. That's the rain what's put, put the animals off. But it's still a nice night, enjoyed it. So I went back to bed 
I had the deer run through camp, just took off on the side of the field. I think for summer camping, I think this is the way to go, for lightweight, lightweight deer. The thing is, <laughs> the only downside is it's getting all this into this little stuff there. When you think those two together are still half the size of my usual hammer. Love these open spaces with blades. It's meant to be a dry sunny day today. <laughs> we just had a slight shower. It looked dark, so I've just put a tarp up.